If you've recently been diagnosed with glaucoma or have glaucoma, one question you may have is, will I go blind from glaucoma? What does the future hold? What is glaucoma? How will it affect me? Hi, I'm Mohamed Elmala. I'm an ophthalmologist and I practice in Central Florida, in Ocala, and in the Villages, Florida. Over the years, I've treated thousands and thousands of patients with glaucoma. And I want to share answers to some of the most common questions that I receive. If this kind of information interests you, or if you're interested in eye health or how you can have your best vision, then subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Before we can answer the question of, of if you will go blind from glaucoma, let's first of all talk about what glaucoma is. Glaucoma is fundamentally an optic neuropathy. What does that mean? It means it's a disease that affects the optic nerve. The optic nerve is what takes the information from your eye and sends it to the brain. If the optic nerve is not working, then the eye does not see. Now, thankfully, there's a lot of redundancy built into the system. There are 1.2 million axons or nerve fibers or connections that travel through the optic nerve a lot. And to have glaucoma, I mean, to go blind from glaucoma, you have to lose almost all of them. Thankfully, in the majority of patients, the rate at which you lose those axons or nerves or nerve fibers uh, that go through that optic nerve, the rate at which you lose them is very, very slow. It often takes decades for glaucoma to cause symptoms. In the majority of cases, there are exceptions, of course. So the things to keep in mind are that glaucoma is uh, an optic neuropathy. It damages the optic nerve. It is a progressive condition. It progresses with time. And the one factor that we know which slows down the rate of progression and hopefully stops it altogether is to lower the pressure inside the eye. That's called the intraocular pressure, or you may hear it referred to as IOP, intraocular pressure. So how do we make the diagnosis of glaucoma? How do we know if someone has glaucoma? Well, the intraocular pressure may be high. It may not be high. 30% of patients who have glaucoma will never have a pressure of outside the normal range. Normal range of intraocular pressure is 10 to 21 millimeters of mercury, 10 to 21. That's normal pressure. And 30% of patients who have glaucoma will never have a pressure outside that range. So one way we can look for glaucoma is to measure the intraocular pressure. But if we only rely on that, then we're going to miss a lot of patients who have glaucoma. Another way your doctor may diagnose glaucoma is by looking at your optic nerve. When you go and see the, to see your doctor, they'll dilate your eyes and take a look at your optic nerves and they'll see whether it looks, has the appearance of someone who has glaucoma or not. I know it's a very vague way to describe it, uh, and it is vague, uh, but it is, the optic nerve takes on a certain appearance uh, that a well-trained doctor will look at and will, uh, if your optic nerve looks that way, it'll raise some suspicion, some, uh, some red flags. Um, for the doctor to further investigate. So how will your doctor investigate that? They may order a test called the visual field test, which measures each point in your central and, and the central uh, 24 degrees of vision. And we had discussed that in another video. I'll try and set the link up to that. Um, so they may order a visual field test, which helps look for any decreased sensitivity in your vision. And they may also do scans of your optic nerve or of your macula to look for areas of thinning that, are, that happen in patients who have glaucoma. And upon reviewing all these tests, your doctor will come up with a diagnosis of glaucoma or you, your doctor may say you're a glaucoma suspect. Um, your doctor may then talk to you about different treatment options for glaucoma. Regardless of the treatment option for glaucoma, your doctor will still need to continue to monitor you and, and measure your intraocular pressure and see how you respond to the treatment and make sure your condition is stable and not progressing. If your doctor decides or elects to treat you for glaucoma, what do they do? Primarily, the way we treat glaucoma is to lower the pressure inside the eye. We know that this slows the rate of progression of the condition. So there's one of three ways we do that. Number one is through laser, and we'll talk about these in more detail. Number two is through medications or eye drops. And number three is through incisional surgery. So let's talk about number one, uh, laser. The most commonly used laser to treat glaucoma is called SLT, or Selective Laser Trabeculoplasty. And that's a fancy way of saying that we use the laser to irritate or stimulate uh, the trabecular meshwork or the tissue that is responsible for draining the fluid from the eye. If we can stimulate this tissue and push it to function a little bit better, and it can drain fluid at a faster rate from the eye, then we'll, we'll achieve lower intraocular pressure, 
will also have less fluctuations in the pressure. Lowering intraocular pressure, less fluctuations in the pressure inside the eye have both been shown to decrease the rate at which glaucoma can progress. So that's number one, laser. Uh, number two is we could treat it with drops. We can use eye drops to uh, lower the pressure inside the eye uh, and they work by various different mechanisms. Some drops uh, increase the rate at which fluid leaves the eye. Some drops increase, uh, decrease the rate at which fluid is made inside the eye. And there are at least five different classes of eye drops or medications that can be used to lower pressure inside the eye, as well as some oral options as well. So we talked about laser, we talked about using eye drops, and most patients who have glaucoma will be treated by one of these two mechanisms. Now if a patient uh, fails laser therapy and fails medication therapy, meaning that they've, been, they've had these therapies and their glaucoma is still progressing or the pressure is not improved, that at that point in time, we can consider doing incisional surgery, um, taking you to the operating room, doing a procedure in the eye to improve, usually to improve the rate at which fluid leaves the eye. And there are a whole host of different surgeries you can have for glaucoma, and we'll leave those for discussion in another video. But the important thing is that almost always there are options to treat glaucoma, there are options to lower the pressure inside the eye. Okay, so we've talked about glaucoma, we've talked about uh, what it is, how we monitor it, how we monitor it. We've talked about the different ways we can treat it to lower the pressure inside the eye. Um, but we still haven't answered the question, will I go blind from glaucoma? The patients that I see who go blind from glaucoma are one example, one group of patients are patients where I see them or they've seen somebody else They've had the diagnosis of glaucoma. Uh, they've been noted to have high pressures or they've been noted to already have optic nerve damage. And for whatever reason, they do not follow up. They do not come back. They do not um, take the necessary treatment or prescription uh, to lower pressure inside the eye. And then these patients will sometimes present to me five, seven years later, and they've already lost vision. The thing about glaucoma that's important to note is that the vision loss is irreversible. Once you've lost vision or gone blind from glaucoma, there's very little that we can do to bring that vision back. So the patients who go blind from glaucoma that I've seen are people who, for whatever reason, are not able to come in or be seen or comply or take um, their, their medications or have any procedures for it or are just we call it their, their loss to follow up, they don't come back in. Another group of patients who may go blind from glaucoma are those where our initial diagnosis is made very late in the disease process. For whatever reason, they may not have seen a doctor regularly, um, they may have their glaucoma, um, it may have been missed on previous eye exams, and whenever we make the diagnosis of glaucoma, the disease is already very advanced. If they've already lost most of their optic nerve tissue, yes, there are things we can do to preserve the vision and slow the rate of that uh, disease from progressing, but some of those patients may still continue to lose vision, or, they may, or at the time of diagnosis, they may already be blind in one eye. I still see a few patients like that who, who don't come in to see somebody until they've already lost most of the vision uh, in either one eye or both eyes. Um, and that's unfortunate. There, uh, you know, we will still treat those patients, we will still try and preserve the vision they have, and although they may be legally blind, they still often have very useful vision that's very useful for them, and that allows them to uh, walk unaided and do many tasks independently. But for the vast majority of patients who have glaucoma, they do not go blind from the condition. Yes, it is a progressive optic neuropathy. It is a condition that will progress with time, but if treated and monitored and you respond well to treatment, then the vast majority of patients who are under treatment from glaucoma will not go blind. So let's circle back. Will I go blind for glau from glaucoma? Likely not. Glaucoma in the majority of people does not cause blindness. But if untreated and unmonitored, 
it can result in blindness. It is a condition that does lead to blindness and it does need to be taken seriously. And you need to find a doctor that you're comfortable with who can treat you for this condition and manage this condition and refer you to a specialist if things are progressing. And it's something that of course you as the patient who has it is something you need to take seriously and uh, commit to uh, following whatever treatment regimen you uh, and your doctor have decided upon. And, uh, and that in and of itself will improve your chances for keeping your best vision for the rest of your lifetime. Once again, I'm Mohamed Almala. If you wanna see more videos about eye health and learn about how you can have and keep your best vision, then follow this channel. Thank you, have a great day.